Hello again and welcome to Crown Nerve Plus. This DVD training is a very essential part of the advanced quantum neurology concepts. In this DVD training we're going to be talking about the strategic neurostacking of the nervous system with regards to the cranial nerves. This is a fundamental of advanced quantum neurology. So please get this material down and really understand the concept of what we're, we're attempting to do through, through the nervous system. This is going to allow you to find hidden weaknesses in the nervous system that otherwise would never have been found. Also, it's going to help you expand the functionality of the nervous system. It's going to allow you to, to create new areas of function that were probably never even challenged before by the nervous system and allows the patient to, to develop a stronger, more complete nervous system in general. One of the key concepts that we really need to understand is that of neuroexpression. Now, neuroexpression is the effect a stimulus has on the body. We could also say it another way. We'd say the effect an injury, illness, or condition has on the body. And it's really important to, to get this part down because it really identifies what we're doing with quantum neurology. So when we're looking at the effect an injury, illness, or condition has on the body, we want to look at the, the areas of the nervous system that are affected by it. So as, as I like going to my example of stepping on the nail, you know, when somebody steps on a nail, if they truly push their, their uh, body into it, they're really stepping on that nail, what will happen is their body will reflex out of it. Okay? And so that reflexive response is an autonomic response. The muscular action of that uh, reflex, that's the motor portion of the nervous system that's being affected. When somebody, you know, their eyes bug out and they, they, they scream, their eyes bugging out and uh, the, the dilation of, of the pupils, that's a cranial nerve response. These, the other areas that are affected is, you know, them, them vocalizing, that'd be cranial nerve 10 response, them screaming or gasping, the sweating of the body, the increase of the heart rate, the, you know, uh, increase of respiration, all those things would be autonomic responses. So we could see how one injury of stepping on the nail could affect the motor, the sensory, and, and the, uh, cranial nerve areas, but it also affects the viscera, and it affects the viscera through the shared nerve supply. So the bottom of the foot is innervated by S1. S1 also provides parasympathetic nerve supply to the distal bowel, bladder, and sexual organs. So when we damage one part of that nerve supply, it's going to affect the functionality of the entire nerve supply. So the, the injury on the bottom of the foot could have damaging effects in somebody's you know, ability to hold their, their bowel or bladder, sexual dysfunction, erectile dysfunction, uh, inability to orgasm. Uh, all these issues are related to S1 and they all could be initiated with an injury to the bottom of the foot or stepping on the nail. So again, we could see how the injury of stepping on the nail, it could be reflected or neuroexpressed in the motor, the sensory, the cranial nerve, the autonomic and the visceral parts of the nervous system.